Hey everyone, Vita Fine Figure here, and today we are going to be taking a look at another G.I. Joe Classified Series figure. This time it is Cobra's Dreadnought Buzzard. Now this is the second Dreadnought we have gotten uh, so far, or at least I have gotten so far. Uh, I had Ripper and I unboxed that one a while back. And it's up on my videos if you want to go check that out. Uh, I've had this one actually for about two weeks now. I've just been a little busy with other figures and I've been busy with work. So um, I haven't had a chance to uh, open up all these up. But I finally got my chance on Buzzard here. Um, huge fan of the Dreadnoughts. So uh, without further ado, as we do here on the channel. Uh, you know what? Actually, let's just open them up. I know I'm going to go off frame. It shouldn't take long because, you know, these are basically all standard this out of the way here's the buzzer there looking all nice Let's see if we can uh, get this out actually i think i'm like oh no it is pretty quick let's get this uh figure out um, i like that backdrop there that's a nice image there just like the thing nice to like the box and of course they come with their own weapons uh oh, the feet are already there we go. They already tilted a little bit. All right. It's got kind of a... Oh, another loose figure. Man. Ah, I was actually doing so good recently with G.I. Joe. Oh, my God. That's... Uh, all right. All right. All right. Let's overlook that. Anyway, let's... Uh, again, it's got the little weapons locker or weapons depot or whatever. Uh, he is uh, 106 in the line. So let's get this little Cobra signal there. Now, I'm not a box collector, but I have kept these, um, so I might display them all with the uh, box behind them or something, or I'll probably end up throwing them away, I don't know, whatever comes first. We'll see. But let's uh, get all his weapons out here. I'm sure I'm not missing anything. Doesn't have a lot of weapons. All right, that's it. Now, he's got uh, quite a few weapons here, actually. Uh, of course, he's got his shades. The round type. It's, it's, it's kind of those welding uh, shades, actually. It's cover up, I guess, from where he cuts stuff. It's got a knife. And, of course, I always, always love when they do the two colors, uh, the tones on the knives and the weapons, so they can stick out rather than uh, once in a while they'll do all those one color. And, you know, they kind of get lost. But, actually, this one's actually pretty good. It's not that big, but... It's not too bad. Let's get some light over here. And now he has this uh, sort of a, uh, what the hell? It's nice. I wish it would have had an actual chain or actually not bad. He's got some detail on it. It's like an ax with a uh, chain attached to it. Or I don't know, it's actually pretty good. That's, that's unique. And, of course, he's got his side piece there with a little wrap around the handle. Uh, see, it's all one color, but at least the wrap kind of stands out. It's actually not bad. It's a little small for him, I think. Yeah, it's like a really small piece. I might have to uh, give this to one of my uh, G.I. Joe female figures. And then, of course, he's got this. It's supposed to be, I don't know what the hell this is. It's like a, another, is it supposed to be twisted? Or is it mines? Or is it just mines? Oh, actually, it's supposed to be a bat. But mines is all bent out of shape in the package. So, yeah, it's supposed to be a... Yeah, it's a baseball bat. Man, that is... Man, oh, well, okay. I was like, what the hell is this? And it's actually a bat. It was just way bent out of shape. But, yeah, now, you know, you can see the Louisville slugger there. It's got some nice blades attached to it. That's a nice touch. It's got the rivets and everything on it. But man, it's it's hard keeping this straight. How the hell am I going to keep this in shape? But yeah, that was weird, man. Oh, anyway, not surprised. I've seen many G.I. Joe weapons that are all bent out of shape. And of course, he's got his chainsaw uh, mechanism here. It's actually pretty good. This is actually nice. You can see the cuts. I mean, that also very nice. It's got some nice detail on it. Yeah, this is nice. It is a little rubbery. So it was kind of, yeah. 
It's not firm. I wish they would do a little bit harder plastic on these. But so we can, uh, so this won't happen. I'm thinking, what the hell is this bent weapon? It's actually the bat. Anyway, that onto the side and onto the figure itself. Now, the head sculpt is, uh, looks a little weird. I don't know if he's supposed to be buck tooth. But, um. Yeah, he's got like this weird uh, overbite on his teeth. I don't know if that's meant to be on purpose. I mean, I know he's supposed to be grinning, but it, yeah, it's supposed to be like a grinning face, but it looks more of an overbite because there is no separation from the bottom of the top teeth. It's just like one row of teeth only. So it kind of looks weird. Uh, the eyes are okay for the most part. It's got that nice haircut. Oh, I hate when they do the uh, that line there. It's the attachment, I guess. So you get that weird line on top. I don't think I've had other G.I. Joes that have that because of their hair. So that's, uh, yeah, it's the, uh, all right. So other than that, it's got the nice little ponytail there. No articulation on that. Man, again, man, the figure is way too loose, man. Let me uh, raise this up a little. It's very loose. But it's got the nice sleeveless uh, ripped off shirt there. It's got the nice, uh, I don't know what it is, uh, metal. Oh, he's got the do dog tags there. I guess hanging on the bottom of the pocket. Um, Attached, I guess, to the inside of the pocket. That's weird. He's got a little shirt, uh, got a little badge there. Like he's a marshal or something. It's got the grenade. I like the little line there. The green kind of suspender type on the side. He's got his little hair there. It's a nice touch there. He's got the nice tattoo of a cobra with the dagger on it. I wish it would have been black. The green, yeah, it just doesn't. He's got this watch, actually. It's more uh, it's got more detail than others. That's actually not bad. It's got the little wristband there. Um, are they movable? Yes, yeah, so you can actually fix that. And then he's got another bracelet on the other side there. I love the skull of the belt, the buckle there. He's got the little spikes, a little 80s belt. That's a nice touch. He's got that nice spike. Um, man, I remember seeing tons of those in the 80s. Boy, I tell you. Now I'm glad I didn't get one. Um, he's got all his holsters there for, for the knife there. That's a nice touch there. And this little padding for the gun and the details on it. The legs are all the same. Same G.I. Joe articulation. So again, I don't dwell too much in the articulation. I just do it for the looks. Um, the figure, it is a little loose, which is kind of bum. It does have the drop down legs, which is great. Um, and then the boots got some nice detail on them. What is that? Uh, it's, it's different. Yeah, it's nice. So yeah, buzzer net man. I can't wait now for monkey wrench. They have to give us monkey wrench eventually. Um, they should have started with monkey wrench. That would have been uh, that would have been it. So I hope they do justice. Now, it's a pretty good figure. Again, it's a great addition uh, to building the dreadnoughts. I'm I'm hoping that uh, you know eventually that they'll get all of them. I already have uh, Sartan and Serana. I know Sandar is on his way, and so on. So. Um, in their vehicle, they should come up with their vehicle. But man, this is a pretty good figure. Aside from the fact that the weapons are all uh, gummy and, and and very like loose. I mean, the baseball bat. I wish they would start using more uh, durable uh, material, plastic that they've been using on some of these weapons because it's terrible, man. Like, I've got some of the Joe, some of the rifles, or the. Uh, which they're all bent out of shape, and it's a pity they has to get them back into shape. And you know, it would have been cool. I mean, he's swinging a boomerang type bat, and there's no way. It's so loose here. It looks like it's already been bent too much, so I have a feeling eventually that's going to give. Um, but other than that, it's not a bad figure. Uh, another thing with these figures, like G.I. Joe, they should do uh, little things so they, the glasses can actually hook on and not fall off easily because they just, like, basically, see that, that, they need to work on it. I don't know, sort of like what uh, um, Mattel does with their wrestling when they have the glasses. It's a little 
slide there where you can actually slide them in because chances are we're probably going to be displaying with them so nobody's going to complain if you have that little side um, thing there like a little hole there so you can slide the glasses in there because you know that's the whole point so the glasses are very f loose also they're like very uh gubby so they are not staying in place because they really don't have anywhere to hook onto because the ears don't even stick up that much. So, um, yeah, I know eventually I'll probably end up dropping these somewhere and losing them. As you can see, they just come right off. So, uh, yeah, figure 8 out of 10, the weapons, uh, I'm telling you, I I'll probably won't be using this one. This is like the worst of them. I bend it, and then by the time I pick it up again, it starts bending down. Because I guess, I mean, it must have been on there for a while. So now I regret not opening a while back. Maybe I would have had time for it not to take the shape so much. Might have to put something on it. Uh, but the chainsaw is great. So it, this is durable here, but very flimsy here. But it's nice detail. So, and whatever this is, it's actually pretty good. But... Uh, can't, can't see that there it goes again so i don't know what i'm gonna have to oh, i don't know probably heat it i don't know if i heat it up it's gonna be more loose so i'll see what i can do to keep it in place maybe tape it up with something just to make it firm so it can stay because the minute i drop it it starts going back see that yeah check 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 look 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 yeah <laughs> that's funny anyway it looks like it's lying but it's a nice figure. Again, great addition to the Dreadnought. So I hope they keep building them up. I can't wait for the other ones. There it goes. I'm just probably going to end up taking them out. Anyway, but it's a nice figure overall. Um, a little loose. Again, lately it just seems like there's a hit or misses with the QVC and these G.I. Joes. But, I mean, they're great. I mean, I'm a huge G.I. Joe fan, so I'm going to continue to collect them. I just wish they'll get it. By now, you figure they do a little bit better in some areas. But... Anyway, other than that, they're killing it with everything else. So, as always, thank you guys for tuning in to the channel. Uh, thank you for your support. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And as always, uh, support each other. Take care of each other. Continue to be a fine figure. And I will see you later.